This is a companion video to the Be Credible textbook on searching voter registration records, focusing on the records kept by the Kansas Secretary of State and by the North Carolina State Board of Elections. How easy or difficult it is to see an individual's voter registration depends on state law. In some states, we need minimal information about an individual to find his or her voting record. And in other states, the bar for accessing this information is a little higher. Let's compare the voting record databases in Kansas and in North Carolina. In Kansas, we need three pieces of information to find someone's voter registration, first and last name and date of birth. So if I want to find Bill Self's voter registration, I need to first find his birth date. Fortunately, Wikipedia tells me that he was born on December 27, 1962. I plug this information in the database and come up with the record. We can double check that it's the right Bill Self. We already know his home address from previous searches, and this is the same address we found before, so we're in good shape. An important piece of information that the voting registration record shows is the individual's party affiliation. In Bill Self's case, he is registered as unaffiliated, so he is not registered as a Republican or as a Democrat. Next is a list of the elected representatives and officials that Bill Self can vote for. At the bottom is another interesting piece of information, Bill Self's voting history. This information may be useful if you're trying to gauge how civically engaged an individual is. Having to know an individual's birth date to search their voting registration is not a requirement in some states, like North Carolina. In this database, all we need to specify is the first and last name of the individual for whose record we're searching. Sticking with the basketball coach theme, let's look up Mike Krzyzewski, the Duke head coach. The only challenge here is knowing how to spell Krzyzewski. We see Coach K's address and that he is a resident of Orange County. We also see that, like Bill Self, his party registration is unaffiliated. At the bottom of the page, we see his voting history. He has voted in all presidential elections since 2004, plus the 2002 midterm elections. But other than that year, he has not voted in midterm elections, like 06, 2010, and 2014, and he doesn't vote in local elections, which are held in odd number years, like 2015 and 2017. And that's how we look up individuals' voting records. Once again, the extent of personal information you will need in order to look up an individual's voting record is going to vary by state. So you need to find, first, the voting registry for the state where your individual is registered to vote, and figure out what pieces of information you will need in order to perform your search. Happy searching!